Hey guys, this is just a short video that I made, um, just basically about mirrors and like blind spots when you're driving and in your car. Um, hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, thanks. Hey guys, I had a couple of minutes spare. I'm waiting for uh, for a logo to be printed out for my Facebook website um, for the Honda EG Facebook page, I guess. I just thought I'd make a quick video about um, about rear view mirrors because I've noticed uh, that there's a common trend of how people adjust their mirrors and it's sometimes quite annoying especially when I jump into somebody's car and uh, you know you go to flip the mirror or you go to dip the mirror and it's actually in reverse so I'm just going to show you how how you should adjust your mirror so that when you drive at night it's not going to be a problem when you go to dip the mirror it's going to be in the correct direction so the way that I find that people normally do it is that they'll go, they'll have the mirror be in the up position, but they'll adjust it so it's down. So the mirror is in a good position now to see out the back, but as you can see, when you go to f flick it down, it goes, it's already in the down, full down position. So the way that I suggest that the mirror should be adjusted and how it's recommended in the the user manual is you have it clicked up to the to the up position like that but then you adjust it so that you can see out the back if you know what i mean so you adjust it to that to like that so you can see out the back like that and then if for example you're driving in late at night and uh somebody's got their high beams on in the back you can just dip it down because that's what it says it says to dip dip your headlights uh, hit dip your mirror so that's just a helpful tip you know and many times uh, when you jump in the car anyway like if you're driving someone else's vehicle they would have adjusted the mirror to their own liking anyway so it's always a key to understand that when you look out the rear view you should get a clear view of the the whole mirror the whole um screen at the back and be able to see at least the the rear bumper or just the lower part of the car you wouldn't want it to be you know in a weird position like that or too high because you know anybody like little kids could walk past you wouldn't see them and yeah could could end badly another pretty important point about using your mirrors um is also you sh whenever you're going to reverse a vehicle or if you're driving and if you're going to back out of a parking or something like that and you should always check behind the vehicle to see if there's them, no kids and there's no nothing behind that you're going to back into um, there's a couple of times where I know where people have been driving uh, larger vehicles not cars but like maybe um, you know vans or utility vehicles or even little trucks and they haven't looked behind them and also they haven't checked their overhead um, clearance so they'll drive through a small space and they'll end up you know going through and they'll hit the sliding door or they'll hit something like that so like a, pretty much a rule of thumb for me is like I always check the, the area where I could possibly go and check my head clearances and also anyone if anyone's behind me I'll check that as well but yeah it's really it's up to everybody's own discretion um some people don't have very good spatial awareness either but that's another topic I guess but yeah I suppose another point 
uh, while we're on the subject of mirrors and checking your mirrors is uh, checking your blind spots when you're driving and before you in change lanes and um, you should always check your blind spot that means looking over your shoulder so you'll check behind you because this is one blind spot here and the other one is that far corner in the back of your car if you don't if you don't check those you know sometimes you might have a cyclist that will come along and a uh, cyclist or somebody on a motorbike they'll come along and they'll be right right here in your blind spot and you go to turn and um, basically uh, you, you don't see them and they just show up out of nowhere you might even hit them so it's always good practice to check your blind spots as well um, and also making sure all your mirrors are adjusted correctly so that you can see you know the the side of the vehicle and just some and I'd like to adjust my side view mirrors to just see basically you want to see half the side of the car and then the rest on the, the road that's how I like them but like I say it's really up to your discretion 